Hello, welcome to Flooring Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Tamiya 135th scale. This is the Char B or the B1 Bis French main battle tank. I know it's not that new. It's first released in around about 2006. There has been, then they did a German version, I think the year after 2007, they added some new parts. Then it was re-released again with a motor in it, although I don't think that was available in the UK. Um, and there it's just sort of been languishing around, not really doing anything. And again, a few little things we've been getting in recently at the PM store is stuff that isn't available in the UK. So we thought we'd go direct and we get a few of these in. So anyway, in the box, <clears throat> we have a classic World War II main battle tank. As we can see, just down in here, it's also got included full colour painting chart depicting uh, four different camouflage seconds. I don't know, a bit on there. Okay, but anyway, that is what we've got down in here. And then running around the box, as always, we've got the ones down on the side. Okay, kit number for this one is, um, is it 282? Uh, I think, maybe. We've got the little things that are down on the side there as well, them showing in. And the track, which looks like it's somewhat workable, which will be a very nice touch indeed. So, in the box, you are greeted by, if I can get that to stand up. <clears throat> there we go, we got one. That's nice. Look, proper uh, tracks. Probably workable, as we were saying, with those ones. And we actually get a towing chain as well. Nice little upgrade on that one. We've got the actual main body, another sprue, the turret, we've got the running gear, and as I've said before, we've got these bits. I think that's just the standard pamphlet bits. Okay. So, as always, we're starting the old instructions. It is the old, wow, it's the old pull out type. Okay, so usual thing, a little bit of blurb about the vehicle itself, and then straight into here, it's talking about making up this sort of jig system. Uh, and removing the nodules and everything for the actual wheel system on this one. Again, it's one of these, it doesn't technically have like the road wheel system of sort of modern tanks, it's the more the sort of roll away of the old ones down in there, okay? So putting those all together and then working on the lower hull, installing those areas, we've got the drive sprockets, we've got some poly caps going into there so they're removable, and on this one as well, this is for that sort of bow gun, uh, the main one in the body at the front of the tank as well. So that one's being fitted down in there and then coming along and adding all of these parts then down into it, okay? Working your way along with all the various structures, opening up the holes as is required right the way through, removing a couple of bits, and then we are then working on the upper part of the actual turret itself. So we've got the armor going on, we've got the grills, the cooling, all the various bits and pieces you might imagine. We've got the actual drive sprockets being fitted down onto these ones, okay? And then all the other armor parts onto the front of this one, and then we've got the little side door in there as well, okay? Working our way around, as we said, it looks like it is a sort of workable track on these one, which is a nice touch on this. So what is it, 62 on each side? So 62 of those putting together, obviously painting them probably before you put them on, and then adding all the other pits onto this one. Depending on the versions of all the different ones down in there, so keep an eye out, maybe highlight which ones are yours. Exhaust system going together, being fitted down onto the top on there, so you've got your mufflers going on that one, and then actually putting this chain, which is really nice because it's an in-scale uh, towing chain into this one in on the back. Then it's in up onto the turret, so although we get no internal details, you get the figures which are going to be going in this one's quite nice. So we've got the turret system and then the commander sitting on the rear uh, hatch area of that one as well, okay? So actually, something very, very nice about that one indeed. Okay, so... <clears throat> Down in here you've got your, oh it's from this way, right, okay, so down in here we've got your different versions of it, so as you say, this is from 1940, we've got that one down in there, say A and B versions right the way through, and then we've got C and D, different ones as well, different areas, things like that, so that's why we've got the different call outs on that one, okay. Then on the inside we've got a lot in different languages you might imagine there, of details about the actual tank itself, okay, so definitely one to look at okay so down into the decals I'm going to put sniffy in here so decals themselves actually looking very nice not too flat not too shiny quite thin as well in the great scheme with Tamiya some of their decals can be a little bit thick but actually those look not too bad at all right so we'll have a look at this trailer I'm not going to open this one up because they are going to be clickable, workable 
tracks, which is actually a really nice touch on this one. So it looks like this is almost an aftermarket bit that's been chopped in with it. Uh, but anyway, there we go. We get the towing chain in there as well. So that's really nice to get that system just like that. Right, so into the hole. <clears throat> now, we said before, the reason it's got workable tracks is that this thing used to be available as a radio controlled one as well. So it'd be interesting to see, so not radio controlled, I should say motorized uh, one as well. So that's actually quite a nice touch with it. So again, typical Tamiya, even though this thing is an, an older kit, but not too old in the great scheme of it, beautiful details, very sharp, this little bolting system onto the sides of it and things like that. Very nicely done indeed. The top details, good, clean, sharp, crisp molding right the way through. And even down onto the inside, as you can see, just down these parts here, very, very nicely done. As I said, there's lots of holes to open up on this for different versions, things like that. That's why you've got all of these down in here. Again, they're all quite nice and big, so you can see them. But generally, I have to say, that's very, very nice indeed. Okay, so we've got the lower hole section down in here. And there it is. <coughs> that's why we've got these little areas down in here, and that's where your on-off switch would be for the motorized version of it, okay? So there we go, that's the uh, sections down on that one, looking very, very nice indeed. Good, clean, strong, crisp molding again. Good detail, right the way down underneath this one. But again, looking at the detail down in here, that's beautifully done, very, very nicely done as well. And up on the sides and right the way around, as you can see, really, very, very nice. Again, we're saying old, it's only 2006, but it's 14 years ago, so it seems quite old now, the great scheme of it, but actually it's not. This is just typical Tamiya on this one. Okay, next up, we've actually got those side skirts and the various areas on sprue B here, as you can see. And then again, if we just have a look at the top here, you can see beautiful, good, solid as ever, dependable Tamiya right the way through on all of that, no problem at all. Again, just even up here, the bolting on these sort of uh, top uh, skirts um, over the top of the actual tracks as well. Very, very nicely done. Great detail, nice, sharp, crisp detail. And again, all the power ejector pins, if anything, they're tiny little bit recessed or pretty much flush right the way through. The turret, we've got a couple of poly caps in here, as you saw in the instructions. <clears throat> so a couple of poly caps just down in there and then over on here we've actually got the turret so again some nice casting type details down here on the actual turret you catch them just in the light you can just about see it it's very very fine but beautifully done very nice indeed we've got the actual commander sitting at the back of the actual turret hanging out very nicely done the mantle for the guns Again, really very, very nice on that one. Very, very hard to find a fault with any of this. This is a gorgeous little kit right the way through. Okay, and then get these out a bit, Jenny. Exactly the same. So we've got a pair here for sprue A, and this is all of those drive sprockets, but again, the texture and the detail down on these is absolutely beautiful. Very, very nicely done. You can probably see in all those wheels and on the details of all of that, beautifully done. Beautiful details. Again, it's Tamiya, so really what can you say? You know it's gonna be gorgeous, it's gonna be fantastic, but it is a really, really nice tank. Great with the workable tracks, even though it doesn't come with the motor in it, you've got the workable tracks, it'd be nice and easy to put those together, installing them, things like that. But generally, just the quality of the plastic, the actual, the molding, the sharpness, the crispness into it, it is Tamiya right the way through, so you know you're never gonna go wrong. As always, it is available in the PM store, details down below. So there we go, that's the Tamiya 135th scale B1, this.